Abra Cadabra. And welcome to Craft Time at the Houston Public Library. I'm Miss Jolie, and today we're going to be learning how to do a little magic. All right, so this uh, activity is intended for ages five and up, and all you're going to need today is a couple of pieces of paper, some tape, and then some sort of small piece of fabric, scarf, handkerchief, something like that. Okay, so we're going to start by making a cylinder with our first piece of paper. So I'm gonna roll it so that the length of it is the length of the shorter end of the paper, not the longer end. For this first cylinder, you actually want both ends to be about the same. So you want kind of a perfect cylinder. You're gonna take your second piece and you're gonna make another cylinder, but this time you're going to make one end slightly smaller, right? Do you see how that's kind of a, more of a cone shape than a full on cylinder, All right? Then you're actually going to take and you're just going to slide them together with the one with a smaller end on the inside and let them line up. Once you've done that, one end will have a secret compartment and the other end will look like just one piece of paper, All right? If you're having trouble with it sliding about, you can take a couple of other pieces of tape and put them on the edges to help stop that. On the one I used at the beginning, I've already done that, All right? So here comes what for me is the trickiest part of this trick and that's getting your scarf in there and making sure that you're gonna be able to grab it but that other people can't see it. So I like to start by kind of folding my scarf up neatly and then I gently start to work it in to that open edge. Now, when I first start, you'll notice we've got like a major lump there. So you're gonna have to work a little bit to get that to sit right. You might have to smush it around, play with it, reach in there with your fingers, whatever you need to do to get it to look like it's round rather than has a bump in it. All right, so once we have it so that the audience sees the round and can't see your scarf, even though you can see it from the back, right? Now all you have to do is practice pulling that scarf out smoothly. So I practiced using a mirror so that I could see what my audience saw as well as what I could see, which was the scarf itself. And so you just wave your hand so that they can see that it is in fact a hole, there's nothing there. And then you just grab the scarf and pull it out as you say your magic words. I used abracadabra, you can use whatever words are best for you. Thank you for joining us for Craft Time at the Houston Public Library. We hope you have fun perfecting your magic trick for your friends and family. Uh, please post pictures or videos on uh, social media and tag us with the hashtag I love HPL. We hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.